Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna do my very first get ready with me video Just kind of chit chatting with you guys as far as the products go I'm using new products to my channel not all are new new but they're new to my channel So I'm trying out products that I just want to try out and also some things that you guys have asked my opinions on and asked me to try out And then I'm also going to just give you guys a life update So I get a lot of questions regarding my education my job just more things about my personal life and I really don't dive into that too much on my channel so I am going to answer some of your guys questions throughout this video as well so let's just get into it Like I said, I'm just going to be trying out some products that I want to talk about on my channel. Some are new, some aren't. Some I just want to try on camera for you guys. So for my base, I'm going to actually use the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I've got asked about this quite a few times. I have used this once before, but I ha didn't really pay attention to what it did to my skin. So I'm just going to use it on one half of my face and see if I can tell a difference. This is an old product, but a lot of people talk about it and I don't know. I just am so happy with moisturizing primers and I don't have too big of pores or anything so that really was never really too much of a concern for me. So yeah, this is actually, besides my decluttering video, the first video I'm filming of the year. And it's like the 18th or something today, which is crazy. That's because I pre-filmed a lot because I was at school basically graduating college. <laughs> um, I went on vacation to New Orleans for a week, which was a really fabulous time. And then I went straight from New Orleans to my school for two weeks to take a giant comprehensive exam. And my school is really weird because you have to pass this comprehensive exam of all of your major related classes that you've taken over the past four years to get your degree, basically. It's a very, very stressful time. It's like almost 12 hours of written and then at the very end you have an oral exam which is so terrible but um yes i passed so <laughs> i am officially graduated college which is awesome side note um i think my skin does look smoother and it kind of mattified my skin but We'll see how the foundation looks on top of it. For foundation, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. This I've been using for years. I also have heard a lot about Wayne Goss brushes. I don't own them personally, but my mom's a big Wayne Goss fan, so we actually took a bunch of her brushes that I wanted to try, and I'm using them in this video. So I'm going to use this Wayne Goss 01 brush and see how it applies foundation. I'm not a big foundation brush person, but let's see how this goes. So I got a lot of questions about like what I graduated with, what degree do I have? Um, I actually have two degrees now. So if you watch my videos in back in May, which not a lot of people watch me, so I'm sure most of you guys <laughs> don't know this, but I had actually talked about, guys, I'm really stressed out now. I'm doing a lot of stuff to graduate. I'm super busy. Um, and then I came back again and was like six months later, hey, I'm trying to graduate, blah, blah, blah. I didn't fail the first time. I actually just had two degrees. And I tried to finish that first degree with everything I needed to graduate, like the necessary number of credits I needed to graduate, my senior project done, like my senior thesis, and all of that so that I could graduate and walk at the ceremony with my friends that I came in with. Because this was my extra semester, my fifth year. So luckily my school did let me graduate and it was just really stressful because I was doing everything I needed to do to graduate. like. A normal student even though I wasn't actually graduating I was just trying to walk so in May I earned a degree in psychology quite unrelated to makeup right <laughs> but wait till you hear this this semester what I was doing was I was student teaching so an education degree so that's why I was so busy I was student teaching full-time and then I also had another job and then I had YouTube, so I was really busy this semester. But I graduated with a degree last week in physical education, which is very, very different from makeup as well. Even more different. Oh, I like this brush. I actually really like the way this brush applied the foundation. I don't know that I prefer it more than a sponge, but not mad at it. So to not spend 30 minutes, I'm gonna go off and do my eyebrows. What I use for eyebrows will be listed down below and I will be right back. Okay, so concealer, I just picked up the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. I got mine in the shade 21 Cinnamon. Haven't tried this yet. It literally came in the mail today, so. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. I'm worried this is the wrong shade, but we will see. So many new concealers have come out recently. It's kind of 
overwhelming. Okay, I was worried this was gonna be too dark on me. Um, no, it's almost too light. And I've been trying to get away from this really light concealer trend. Honestly, I've decided I think it looks better when the... Just casually pulling out my giant beauty blender. Concealer is closer to your skin shade. I'm using this giant Real Technique sponge because I can't find my normal size one. This really does your foundation so fast though. <laughs> Oof. I see some creases. But um, yeah, so physical education and psychology. Also on the side, as you guys asked like about my job, obviously I was a student first and foremost, but when I wasn't in school, I was coaching, which is like a whole secret life that you guys don't know about. So different from what I do here on YouTube, but I love to coach youth sports in particular, like the really young ones. I'll do everything from soccer to basketball to t-ball, <laughs> like completely crazy stuff. And then I also was coaching a high school team this fall, which is another reason I was so busy this fall because high school sports are obviously like every day and it was absolutely crazy. Yeah, I bet you guys did not expect to hear that. And so that's why I always try to keep my channel as professional as possible. I'm a role model and if they ever look me up, which some have for sure and they found me you know I gotta keep it appropriate so yeah, that's kind of the reason why I try to make my channel a, a more professional one I'd say something very appropriate for every age um so by the way the concealer I'm gonna have to use it more with I think a different sponge but it's looking a little creasy it says it is self-setting so I'm not gonna set it hmm I want to use this Chanel Tan de Soleil, but I also have the NARS Skin Deep Palette, and I wanna see how these powders work on the skin. So I'm gonna skip out on this Chanel for now and save that for a different video, but I heard a lot of people talking about in their yearly favorites, the Hourglass Veil Powder. I've used this before in a video and I liked it, but I hadn't picked it up in a while and that just reminded me that I really needed to use it. So my future plans for a career because I mean, you guys have asked me about my job, my education, all of that. The goal is to be an elementary school PE teacher. I'm very into fitness and taking care of yourself and sports. So, I don't know, maybe I could incorporate that onto my channel somehow because, I mean, I have a whole degree in that. <laughs> so, I'm pretty well educated in that and I just, besides makeup, that's what I do when I'm not doing makeup. So, the plan for the next few months now that I'm done with school is I'm going to be substituting and applying to schools which obviously the new school year doesn't start till August and a PE teacher job is pretty difficult to come by as well. So just keeping my fingers crossed and hoping for the best in that regard. I also will be coaching, um, starting coaching some little kids sports next week and then I might coach a lacrosse team in a couple months. I haven't decided yet, but that's kind of job-wise what's in my future. Now we are going to go to the NARS Skin Deep Palette. So this is NARS new palette. I was so close to not getting it, but Ultimately, I just decided to because I heard a lot of good reviews about it and for the sake of YouTube. So I'm actually going to take this cream color right here and not set underneath my eyes, but just kind of put it in this area. I just want to see what it looks like. Um, weird. It has like a slight sheen to it. No, maybe that was on this brush. No, I definitely am getting like a weird sheen to my skin. I don't think I like that shade. It's like doing weird things to my skin. Okay, moving on, moving on. I'm also going to put on a little bit of this shade. Oops. <laughs> this shade in the contour areas. This is very clearly a palette for more medium to deep skin tones. If you're very fair, I can already tell. Yeah, this isn't a palette that's really geared for you or the best for you, I should say. I'm pretty fair and this is really dark for me if I decided to go full in with that color but using a light hand I can get it to work but this would definitely be more fitting for somebody like my mom who has a medium skin tone so I'll probably hand this off to her to be honest because I think she'll enjoy it more than me. Also this is like a little bit of weird shade. I feel like I can see a little bit of redness in my skin. I just don't think this is for my skin tone but the color is blending out really nice. And then I'm going to take the edge of this and just those top four colors are bigger, which is great because those are very useful colors, but they're still for face powder are giving me a little bit of trouble. Though also I am just trying to squeeze this giant sponge in there. So it's, it's me, it's not the palette. 
Okay, that color wasn't so bad. I don't know, but I still have this weird sheen right there, and I used two different brushes. Let's move on to the eyes. I'm gonna be playing around with the Wayne Goss brushes, if you're curious. And we're going to start off with... See, this is really missing a lighter transition shade. This is definitely for deeper skin tones. But we're going to go in with this color right here. The next question I kind of want to answer for you guys that you asked me is, I thought, like, makeup artistry was your job or what? how is what you're studying correlating with your makeup business. So I actually, when I say I'm doing clients and doing makeup, in my area specifically where I live, the bridal industry is huge for makeup artists. That's where you're gonna get most business from. So I actually mainly do bridal makeup. When I talk about doing makeup for clients, I do bridal makeup. How that fits in with what I do is it, it does get very busy and sometimes things do overlap. I'm not like super booming with business all the time as far as makeup artistry because I've lived the past four years for hours away at my college and I spent the last few months focusing on just graduating college so this year I'm really looking forward to kind of growing my business and my skills as far as makeup artistry goes this year for me is all about learning and improving my business and my brand. I'm looking very forward to that this year while I have some extra time now that I'm out of school. Um, wow, this is blending really great and this is a great cool tone crease color. How I plan to make it work with my other career, my other life, is actually for bridal makeup. Weddings are on the weekends and you get most of your business in the summer as well And as a teacher you work Monday through Friday and you get summers off the main plan for me as of now And to really develop this year is to be a PE teacher <laughs> then have my own little business doing things on the weekend for bridal makeup. So makeup isn't like my main career, but I do love it and I do want it to be a part of my career. But I also do have other interests that you guys just don't hear about because I'm a makeup channel, you know? How often are you gonna hear me talk on here on how to dribble a ball, you know? We're gonna go in with that cream shade that I've been using on my face right underneath to set that concealer. Sorry if I'm doing a bad job talking about the products or the makeup. I just did want to answer those questions for you guys that have been curious because I don't really get too personal here with you guys. Generally, you get curious if you watch people for some time and you don't know anything about their personal lives and what they're doing. So I hope that answered for you guys. I'm also putting that color underneath the lash line. We're really gonna test how well these shadows blend. So I'm gonna use this shade right here on my outer corner. I'm using a Sonia G Crease Pro brush right now. Putting a little bit at a time and then building. That's kind of my big tip for you guys as to how to deepen a look without going too overboard. Little by little and build. You can always add more, but you can never take away. So yeah, I hope that answered the main questions for you guys kind of about what I was doing in school what I was studying how that relates to what I'm doing here on YouTube I'm very indecisive I decided to be a double major which was very very difficult a lot of work I just have a lot of different interests and I played a sport in college and I want to teach sports and how to be healthy to younger kids I'm looking forward to building up my career this year I blended really nice so I'm gonna stop there. I actually know I love this brush. I've used it a couple times. The Wayne Goss number no. 7 brush and these two are kind of popping out to me so I'm gonna use this in the center and then this in the inner corner or inner half if you will. Oof, that's a really pretty bronzy shade. A lot of neutral palettes coming out which I'm all for because you know what I love colorful pretty mauvey pink rainbow palettes but at the end of the day a neutral palette is what just looks good you know I'm gonna use that lighter kind of grayish shade in here Whew. I haven't wet these and these are really really pretty this one's very very cool toned this actually isn't a super warm palette which is very nice it's actually pretty neutral leaning a little bit more cool toned and so I want to talk about kind of my plans for my YouTube channel this year now that I'm home and settled I want to put so much work into my channel this year I really am trying to step my game up get ready for that very very determined I have a lot more time now too so my opinion 
opinions on this face palette. I really like it. Everything blended very, very nicely. Gorgeous colors. It's a very, very neutral palette. Really great for the everyday woman. I would suggest this if you're medium to dark skin tone. You're gonna love this. The quality is really good. I love the packaging of this. It reminds me of just like their old giant bronzer packaging. I think this is a hit. It reminded me a lot of the Atomic Blonde palette, but I think this one is better than the Atomic Blonde and you're getting way more. Thumbs up for me on this. For blush, somebody actually asked me about this blush if I tried it, the Hourglass Brilliant Nude. I do have it, so I do want to use it because I don't remember what I think of it. Hourglass has my favorite blush formula, so... Mm -hmm. it has like a really nice peach sheen to it. This isn't for people who hate shimmery blushes though. Really pretty. It has a really nice sheen and as always blends very nice. Highlighter today I'm using one of my more new purchases. This is the Dior Luminizer in Hollow Gold. I'm pretty obsessed with the Hollow Pink so I got this. I really hope my channel can grow this year. I'm gonna put in a lot of work so that hopefully it can grow. So I appreciate all the support you guys have given me thus far and yeah just be excited for the content this year i really want to get more into editing and learning about the technology i'm using because honestly like for my camera for example it's still on factory settings because I don't know anything about photography, so I really want to work on stepping that up. My Instagram. I, don't, I just want to improve in all areas uh, because this is like my hobby and I really do love it. And I do want to put more energy into it. So I would appreciate if you could stay for the ride. Um, this is really pretty. It actually has a stronger pink shift. I'm going to go off camera. Um, I'm going to do a small line of liner, mascara, and put on some lashes, which I'll talk about in a second. And I'll be right back. Okay, so lashes are on. I used Lily Lashes in Olivia. We're gonna move on to lips. For lip liner, I'm actually gonna use one of the Jeffree Star lip liners. I had these for a while and I just never talked about them on my channel, so I wanted to use them, I guess. So I'm going to use the lip liner in Posh Spice, I think. Mmm, that's a little too cool tone gray. Never mind. We're gonna use Leo. These are really smooth and they stay day a really long time. They can be a bit drying though, so beware with that. So for my channel this year, I'm looking to kind of not necessarily expand my content, but I want to add like more like fashion videos maybe, or I don't know, we'll play by ear. But yeah, I want to upload at least three to four times a week and that's at least because with YouTube, I feel like you get what you give. So I want to give a lot to you guys. For lips, I'm going to use this new lipstick I picked up. This is, I don't know how new this is, but this is the Marc Jacobs Lipstick in Sugar Sugar. And you guys, this is such a gem. It is gorgeous. My lips are looking really dry though, so I'll put a gloss on. So ignore the fact that I look like I haven't drank water in weeks, but do you see how pretty the color is? So to combat the um, dryness of my lips, I just got the Bite Beauty Lip Gloss, French Press Lip Gloss in Flat White. Ever I talked about these lip glosses on their 2018 favorites, so I picked one up. Mmm. I love the smell of coffee. This is the final look, you guys. Really pretty. It's like a very cool toned, neutral look. And I mean, I love it. Let's kind of review everything I use. The Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Ah, uh, definitely gonna wanna play with this some more, but mm, I don't really notice that much of a difference between the sides of my faces. The Makeup Forever Self Setting Concealer. This is definitely not a full coverage concealer. More medium coverage, just like the foundation. I didn't set it and I don't notice greasing really anything that's too terrible again I'm gonna have to use it some more but so far I'm liking this the hourglass veil powder I didn't use it too much but it did the job um, I liked it the first time I used it so I'm definitely gonna have to powder my face more to really you know get a feel for it the NARS skin deep palette this is really great a great release 
from NARS. Kind of boring, but also very necessary. Like you're gonna use it a lot. Again, definitely would recommend for medium to deep skin tones, but quality is A1. What else is new that I've tried? The Hollow Gold. I like Hollow Pink more, but obviously this is going to be better for more medium skin tone. It does have like a peachy pink shift to it, but really a gorgeous formula. I love the formula of Dior highlighters, so really liking that. Just because I've never mentioned them before, the Jeffree Star lip liners. They're very drying, but also they last a long time and they're very creamy. So it just depends kind of what you're looking for, but definitely moisturize and exfoliate your lips, which I didn't do for using these, but these like stay, so they are good. The Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar Lipstick. This is like a frost. It's very sheer and it almost has a metallic finish. This is one of my new favorite lipsticks. So I just think it looks so fabulous with a neutral nude look. Love it. And so far the Bite Beauty Flat White Lip Gloss. Such a good color. These two go really great and smells like coffee. So you could say I'm into it. I hope you guys enjoyed that little life update. I hope it answered some of your questions. And I hope if you've asked me about these products, this video helped you as well. Kind of a two in one. Let me know how you enjoyed or didn't enjoy my first ever get ready with me how I can improve it what you're looking forward to from my channel in 2019 I can't believe this is my first real video talking to you guys this year and it's already the 19th but I will see you guys in the next video bye